Hey everyone, Joel Hans here. Today we are in Roseville. Yes, Roseville, Michigan. Kind of like St. Clair Shores area. Outside, Wing Snob. Yes, Wing Snob. So, what is Wing Snob? Well, Wing Snob is a wing restaurant, obviously, but what's super cool about this place, they're using fresh, never frozen chicken. Um, so here we are actually doing an undefeated chicken wing challenge. This is a 50 boneless wing challenge. It's been attempted, um, and the most anybody's ever eaten is 42. So the challenge to eat the 50 wings, there's actually no time limit, just a one seating. Um, but yeah, so I'm super excited to try this out. I've heard really good things about the brand. Um, we need the more info, more details momentarily. I know we're in the quest for the free $55 meal, and uh, that's about that. We'll get to pick our sauces, pick our flavors, but what is really cool, again, for me at least, guys, is I have saw that what they're doing in here, and it's literally just like chicken breast pieces battered and fried, which is amazing, because I don't usually like boneless wings, because they're eh, usually like kind of processed, like chicken nuggets. These are legit chicken pieces. These are legit chicken breasts. So I'm excited. So let's go in, let's have fun with these food, and let's get rocking. Around. So here we are with the 50, yes, the 50 boneless wings. Again, the record has been for, set at 42. And uh, the actual name of this, like I said, is they eat till you puke. So, like I said, they're a little snobbish about this, I will say. But no, seriously guys, this looks awesome. It's literally just like straight chicken breast, battered, deep fried, you can't beat it. Fresh over frozen, I'm all about it. So I do uh, have a couple sauces. I did go with 30 uh, naked, and then I have a whole bunch of sauce here on the side to try. I went with 10 buffalo, 10 of their awesome sauce, which is their signature sauce. I mean, I'm sure it's awesome with a name like that. Um, but like I said, no time limit, just completion, which no one has ever done before. So with that, let's get started here just momentarily. Chicken wings, boneless wings to be specific. Let's see if we can do this. So. Look at that, it looks gorgeous, by the way. So, how can we get started? Let's say at the, oh, stretch out. Oh, guys, it's been a long time. I'm ready for some good, hearty, delicious wings. I'll try them naked first, we'll go to the sauces. So let's start off and say you count of three, two, one, let us eat. Mmm, damn, man, wow. The seasoning on that, it's phenomenal. Very impressive. You don't even need a sauce. It's actually really, really good. Even naked. Who doesn't like naked chicks? Chicken, chicken. Mm. There you go. Good crunch, moist, but great flavor. I'm impressed. All right. I do have all these awesome sauces here. Maybe I'll give it a try. This is the uh, Tangy Q. It has like allspice or something in it. It's really good. Mm. Nice and tangy, hence the name. Mm. Try the buffalo, I got the buffalo himself. Delicious. Not that I expect anything different. Hey everyone, welcome to Zooter. Today we are here at Wing Snob taking on their Eat Till You Puke Challenge. Yes, quite the name I will say. So in front of us we had 50 of their boneless wings, um, but as I already mentioned, what I love about this is again, it's not no processed boneless wing, it's like just legit straight chicken. So I really appreciate that, and I gotta say they were absolutely delicious. Really good seasoning on even the plain ones surprisingly, so you know, having that really nice base and then adding any of the sauces was just absolutely delicious. Um, I was really enjoying the uh, sauces that I had there to dip. 
um, you know, being like the tangy one, what they call the awesome sauce, which was all the staff's favorite. I also had, um, again, some sauced already, uh, being buffalo and the awesome sauce, which were the uh, recommendations. I basically just said, yo, give me whatever, and that's what they uh, came up with. Try this, uh, this is the honey barbecue, the one I haven't tried yet. Barbecue. So for a strategic move, I chose to get the majority, or at least, you know, quite a few of them naked and then have only some sauced. Being like, if I started with buffalo, like I, it would be hard to go back to the plain ones, you know what I mean? Because it's already so flavorful. Whereas if I started with the naked ones, I could eat as many naked as I wanted to and then dip into the different sauces as I desired. All right, but we're about, I think, three and a half minutes in. Really delicious, really enjoy them. I'm gonna try one of the awesome sauce. This is all the staff's favorite. I've asked every staff, but what's your favorite? Which favorite? They all say this, so here we go. Mmm. Guys, it's like, I don't like a honey mustard barbecue. Oh wow, ones that are sauce, that is super moist. Mm. These are awesome because they get the, like, the nice crunch and the sauce, but oh, they're super easy. Delicious. In all reality, I probably would have just got them all sauce, just with maybe like another flavor or two, um, because it was just they were the sauces were also delicious, and I mean I was constantly using the sauces anyway. Um, seriously, I gotta say, if you're ever nearby, like. You gotta try that awesome sauce and that tangy one. That was just fantastic. Man, that stuff was good. Um, so yeah, pretty straightforward. Again, prior to this, the uh, record was 43. No one was actually able to complete the box of 50. What's in that tangy cue? Is it like allspice or something? Can't tell you. Secrets, well, it's dang good, whatever it is. I think that's my favorite flavor. The ones that were sauced were actually uh, easier to eat, just again, because the uh, crispy kind of breading had already been moistened. So again, from a strategic standpoint, could have went with them all sauced. Um, but yeah, but I, I had absolutely no regrets. This way I got to try more different flavors, more different sauces. Um, but that's pretty much, I think, the majority of the info. Again, we were in the quest for the free meal. Um, it was about 50-ish, 50 or $60 uh, if we were to fail. Guys, this is a lot of chicken. There ain't no shortage of protein today. And you guys can talk and stuff. You don't want to be quiet or anything. But yeah, one seating time limit. Um, so yeah, that. Thank you to everyone who came on out to watch. Really appreciate that. Um, this was a really nice area, kind of the uh, St. Clair Shores, kind of kind of by the water in Michigan, um, a bit north and east of Detroit. Um, but yeah, super cool, no complaints. So with that, I believe that's all the info I have for you today. Uh, definitely let's tune on in, see if we can complete this undefeated chicken wing challenge. And ultimately, let's tune on in and see what happens. I love sauces and flavors. So good. Mm. All the flavors. How many flavors are on the menu? Uh, 14. We'll have to come back. Guys, these are awesome. I made some really spicy ones. I didn't get any really spicy ones today, but one's literally called Hot AF, I think. Probably pretty spicy.
think we're at 7.45 in. Very delicious. I have no clue how many I'm exactly through, but the one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, maybe 31 or 20, whatever, 10. Anyway, if anything, keep in count, you can keep count. Very, very delicious though. Really enjoying them. Maybe 23? Okay. One thing for sure. A lot of chicken. I need to keep up this pace. I mean, I've definitely slowed down a little bit. But, man, these are dang good. Alright everybody, if you made it to this part in the video, first off, thank you so much for not skipping through it. I really appreciate that. Let's play one of our jokes on these skippers. So how this works is you comment something down below and anybody who just skips through the video and only reads the comments is going to have to search through the video to find the point in question. So how about we comment down below? I also like to eat my chicken with chocolate or I also dip my chicken in chocolate, which is a very interesting combo. Let me know if anybody's actually tried chicken and chocolate down below, but comment about chicken and chocolate. All right, everybody. I think we are 32 in. And we're about 11 minutes. So let's keep on trucking. Get these ones down. Mm. Yeah, the way that sauce soaks into it makes it so like moist. Mm. But I love having both. So this is just like super nice and saucy and juicy. And having them naked and then dipping them, we really kept it crispness. Good combo to have both. That was dang good. The awesome sauce and the snobby Q. Man. I love this sauce. Can I buy a bottle? I can buy a bottle. Woo. Man, that one's huge. Look at the size of this beast. That's like a whole freaking chicken strip. Don't jinx it. No, I'm just <laughs> you got this. I'll do what I can. About 14 minutes in. Like I said, no shortage of wings though. And really, I mean, a 50 bucks should feed a party or a family, not one person, so. <sighs> About 16 minutes in the chicken and chill. Wow. No shortage of protein, no shortage of chicken breast. Shut up breast, guys. I am a big chicken breast fan. Let me know if you like breasts down below. Some thighs too. Always about that thigh action. We're down to the last boneless wing. About 17 in. Woo. Don't worry, eight wings for everybody, so. I don't know guys, I don't think I need any more protein than this. We are finished. I believe 
right about 17 and a half minutes. I'll tell you one thing, I got my protein for the week, I got my sodium for the month, but man, they were freaking good. I gotta say, seriously, shout out this snobby cube, this tangy one. That is by far my favorite sauce, um, but so, so, so good. The awesome sauce is really nice as well. Kind of like a honey, mustard, Carolina barbecue sauce thing. Of course, straight buffalo, I love buffalo. Man, <coughs> excuse me. Comments to the chef. <coughs> More comments to the chef. Seriously though, what I, I think I love so much about this is I knew exactly what I was eating. Again, like the fact that they're literally just pulling fresh chicken breasts, cutting them, putting them in, you know, like lightly breading them and frying them. Like it is no fillers, no whatever. And that's what I really, really, really liked. The flavors were awesome. Like I said, I was eating them naked and they were bomb. Um, so yeah, for that, we do get the meal for fruit school. We're the first person to eat the 50, 50 boneless wings in the one sitting. Sounds cool. That was, uh, that was really enjoyable. We got, we're got coming up 40 some locations across the country. So guys, they're all over the place. I'll definitely be visiting again. I really liked it. There's a couple locations in Canada as well. But yeah, this was awesome. Simple, straightforward, simplicity at its best. Except with that sauce. I really like that snobby Q sauce. I'm gonna reverse, you know, formulate it. Maybe I'll get the recipe one day. But you know, like I said, seriously, it was absolutely awesome. I'm um, huge thanks to the staff here. Super friendly, good food. And uh, that's about that, no complaints. So, that bite till next time. Of course, stay happy out the hungry, happy eating. And to that, have a lovely day. Cool. Well done. Thank you. Casualties would be expected. Last couple. Not bad. And they're on the only three. Oh, no, that's not bad. If they're on the cherry, you just throw them up. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.